To this day, Nino Brown boxing. I'm back in the building. Shout out to the LDBC. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe, man. So I was watching um, a video from Boxing the Ego this morning. Shout out to Ego. And apparently, Conor McGregor has stated his team has sent Manny Pacquiao an offer. Um, in this article. Conor McGregor doesn't necessarily go on to elaborate about the Manny Pacquiao fight, but he does say that he tends to get a championship belt in the sport of boxing. Now, we all know how boxing is, and getting a championship belt and fighting Manny Pacquiao is two completely different things. Because, one, I know that Conor McGregor has zero interest in fighting Earl Spence or Terrence Crawford. Now, Manny Pacquiao is the, is the WBA champion, and that kind of kills two birds with one stone. But at the same time, Conor McGregor has also expressed interest in facing Pauli Malignaggi. Now, you also have those other lower-tier belts in the sport of boxing. Not saying that Conor McGregor can beat those guys, but you know how um, we all know how the business of boxing works. And if it's enough money surrounding it, the opportunity can definitely present itself. Now, when it comes to the Manny Pacquiao fight, is it a fight I want to see? Hell no. Absolutely not. I have zero interest in that fight. I would definitely prefer Manny Pacquiao to face the upper echelon guys in the division, unification bouts, shit like that. But when it comes to recent history in boxing, the dollar rules all. And we all know that Manny Pacquiao, he's chasing that paper as simple as, simple as that. Um, a lot of people were talking about Earl Spence being his biggest payday when it comes to current active boxers. So that's not including Floyd Mayweather, and that's an absolute fact. But if Conor McGregor is telling the truth about they sent Manny Pacquiao an offer, well, that becomes his biggest payday. We're talking about a crossover event with a guy that Mayweather has already fought it, um, it brings in boxing fans because you always have those boxing fans that feel like it may be a possibility, even though it's not, that Conor McGregor can upset Manny Pacquiao, and then you have a lot of the casuals that just want to see the show. And then you have the MMA fans that are in some type of fake rivalry with boxing fans, and they want to, they want to, they want the opportunity to say that their sport is. Their sport is superior to boxing. But the only thing I think, I guess the thing that inspired this video was if this fight was to come to fruition, considering the financial gain that both of the fighters can have, that, that makes me believe that it is definitely a possibility. But if that happens in 2020, where does that leave the Manny Pacquiao Earl Spence fight? That has been so much talk around but I haven't seen any actual evidence that the fight is even in discussion. So with all of that being said, with all of that being said, I just look at it like this. I don't want the fight to happen, but we know how the business of boxing works. We know how this shit goes. And I just definitely wouldn't be surprised whatsoever if this fight takes place. I wouldn't, I've been saying it for um, an extended period of time. Manny Pacquiao has zero interest to me in facing Earl Spence. He has zero interest in that unification bout because if he did, I felt like, well, why not go after Earl Spence right after the Mikey Garcia fight? But we'll see how everything plays out clearly, and we'll see if Conor McGregor gets his wish of having a few more boxing bouts, professional boxing bouts in his career. It's Nino Brown Boxing. Shout out to the LDBC, and I'm out.